Okay, so I've got three of the Wurlitzer 165 Melody ranks, flute ranks, on my test chest now. Uh, the one rank I could not fit on there right now is the open flute, spitz flute rank. These are really large scale pipes and they're quite wide. So they have to go on this back chest, which is more spread out, but it's already occupied right now. So we'll play these th uh, three ranks for you. Um, in the very back, we have the flageolets. And then in front of them, we have the stop flutes and then the piccolos in the very front. And you'll notice the stop flutes and the piccolos are on extended toes. That's for two reasons. Number one, it raises the pipe up, makes it a little easier to tune with them being higher. And then also uh, in the organ, they're uh, packed in there pretty closely and they've got pipes behind them, which uh, need to speak through. So this allows the sound to get out. Plus by not having a solid wall of pipes right in front, uh, you get better, clearer speech as well. Uh, so tonally, uh, the flageolets uh, speak an octave higher than um, the stop flutes. So they're what we would call a four foot uh, pitch rank. They're a, a pretty um, pure flute tone in the high range, just like the stop flutes are a, are a pretty pure flute tone in the, in the lower range. And then also speaking an octave higher at four foot pitch are the piccolos. They're a little bit more harmonically complex and they add um, some nice tonal color and of course volume uh, to uh, the mixture of pipes as well. So uh, let me go ahead and um, demonstrate. So we're gonna start out playing the uh, lowest pitch pipes in this uh, set of three, which are the stop flutes. soft violins, uh, the two ranks here in the front chest, and then I still have the stop flutes and the flageolets in the rear chest. What differentiates the soft violins from the loud violins, uh, there are probably three main issues. Number one, the scale is smaller on the soft violins, so they have a smaller cross section. Uh, the toe hole that allows wind to the bottom of the pipe is smaller. 
and then the cut up on the mouths of the pipe is also smaller. So these pipes are going to be keener and uh, just a little bit softer than the loud pipes. I still have to voice and adjust those, but I'll get them on the chest in a minute. Uh, so you're going to hear, first of all, just the violins, the two ranks of soft violins playing, and then I'll add in the um, stop flutes and the flageolets. on the chest now, the two soft violin ranks in the front and the two loud violin ranks in the back. Um, just to show you the difference in toe hole sizes, this is the uh, loud violin. I made the toe holes just wide open as far as I could, just so they had maximum wind going in there. And then on the soft violins, I cut them down a little bit. They're still plenty ample uh, for a violin. Then also on the loud violins, um, I did not sharpen the leading edge of the frame, but just left it square. I did sharpen them on the uh, soft violins. So it's not a huge marked difference, but the soft violins are uh, keener. Uh, the loud violins are slightly louder and a little less keen. So we'll start out by playing the Battle March. <laughs>
finally here to wrap things up. I've put the stop flutes back on and behind them we've got the um, open flute slash spitz flute rank. You can see they're a, a big fat wide scale pipe. Um, I had to make the toes larger for them for the rest of the pipes because I wanted uh, really ample air to get to these guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure why Wurlitzer decided to make half the rank uh, an open flute and the other half a spitz flute. Uh, perhaps the spitz flute had a tunnel quality that they were looking for in the, in the upper pipes. Um, and then I've also left the two ranks of um, soft violins on the front. So we'll start out, we turn everything off except for the open flute, spitz flute rank.